let off. In the opening race, the Irish EPF juvenile maiden over the straight five furlongs. Over on the far side, it's Bossy Parker, taken on by Perfect Like the Moon. Alexis Zorba is front running track by Little Big Bear, the purple and white jacket. They're followed by Thunder Bear and Keep Up With My Empire and El Tesoro. Ladin Jell is one behind Palace Gardens. Heading across to the three mark, and it's Perfect Like the Moon, joined by Alexis Zorba. Sitting a length behind them, Bossy Parker and Little Big Bear. On the left is Keep Up With My Empire and then Ladin Jell, who's followed by Thunder Bear, El Tesoro, nudged along and ridden along at the back of the field, is Palace Gardens. They've come past the halfway stage. Alexis Zorba has come to pick it up, with pushed up to try and mount a challenge, the odds on favorite. Little Big Bear, bit of a break to keep up with my empire, and then Ladin Jell, weakening his bossy Parker, and it's Little Big Bear who's coming to pick it up from Alexis Zorba. Little Big Bear just touched off on debut, wins at odds on. Second, Alexis Zorba. Third, keep up with my empire. Shamey Heffernan's with us now, Little Big Bear running out a comfortable winner of the opener. Shamey, I guess there would have been long faces in the camp had he not won like that. What did you make of the performance, though? I know, but it was a good performance. Um, he had a lovely run the first day, it was a little bit green. Um, I spoke to Ed and he said he'd come forward. He was back for long, but I got a lovely trip and I picked up him one easy. Is he a horse you've had much to do with at home at all? Um, I keep an eye on as many of them as I can, yeah. He was one that caught me eye. Mm. And conditions out there today, no problem whatsoever for him, were they? Um, no, and never is t tend to go on fast ground, fast horses, fast ground, but it's just probably the slow side of good or a little bit worse. Um, I, I just outclassed him. And Shamey, what about Royal Ascot? Do you think he's a bona fide player going over there now? That would be the plan with the ones Aidan runs this time of year. Mm. Whatever stands up and keeps coming forward, he likes running the Ascot. He would be in the mix, yeah. That was five furlongs today. He made his debut over six, and he was very strong at the finish again today. Have you got a feeling about what might be best for him for now? He switches off, he's loads of boot, and I'd say he's a bit of class. So, listen, yeah, at, at, this, at this stage of their careers, you, you need them to keep progressing every month and putting their head down, but he ticks a lot of boxes.